What's going on everybody? I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an install on my 2018 Focus ST. I just got home from picking up a cow induction intake from 2J Racing out and coming. And uh, it's not taped because I literally just picked it up and they had her sitting ready for me. And this is the first time I've dug into everything so we're going to do this together. So I was told this is basically the pack of all the hardware we're going to need. Let's get in there and see what it is. Alright. Got a little flexi pipe situation. We've got an adapter for said flexi pipe. Like that. Alright. And we got a coupling. Rock and roll. Alright, that's the first little package. Off on the floor. Second one, we've got our air filter KM. That's pretty basic. I doubt they put anything in it because it's still taped shut. And they did not. Alright, it's a little guy. Alright, there's that. And you always get a sticker. And they taped bolts onto it, and I'm not 100% sure why they taped bolts onto it. We'll figure that out. In the floor. In the floor too. You go to the floor too. All right. Bam. All right. And this is the actual pipe for the intake itself. This is where all the money is made. I bet you that bolt is that. Four. All right, there's that. Nice, pretty, and polished. I also have the map sensor cord to make it longer. Got that too. As always, I've got a new decal for my car. Rock and roll. Let me set it over with the other sticker. All right, so I'm gonna put all this back in the box because we are not there yet. All right, we're gonna move to the car. All right, so we're under the hood now and as you can tell, I haven't changed really anything. I've done the Go Green AirPod. You can kind of see it right there. But all the intake is original. All this stuff still original. I haven't done anything with it. So this is literally going to be the first time I've ever taken it off. And so far I found out an 8 millimeter socket on a wrench like this, or a screwdriver, is the best thing. It kind of covers every little nook and cranny up to here at least. So the first thing we want to do is yank this bad boy up. Throw that on the ground. All right, give us some room. I'm gonna pop this sucker off, and they kind of lock in there, so you don't have to sit there and try to pull them all the way out. That's loose. Got one back here. Dip, 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 dip. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to kick you there. Oop, 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 oop. That one's out. And bam, this one's out. Yeah, all right, we're out. It should just pour right off the top. Then you throw that on the ground. This guy comes off with a screw right here. Couple little turns, eight millimeter. Boom, that comes out. And hopefully this is gonna go into my wife's car. And I have taken this out before to do my clutch shortener that's down here by Cobb. I'll show you a picture of that at some point. These guys right here, you just kind of yank up on it. It's loose plastic. The tab pops out right there. Pretty much just lifts on off of it. And the tab's on there. Tab around, tab around, tab around. Until right. so everything starts to free up and we're doing right. Right here we want to pop this sucker out. He's a map sensor. Oh, I lost a little purple rubbery guy. No. We'll look for that in a minute. And then we got a screw back here. Pop that out. So that all loosens up. Rock and roll. If I don't 
I remember correctly, it just basically yanks out. You gotta work this off. But you know what? We can take that all the way out of here. That whole thing's going anyways. Can I get it? Can I get it? Throw that on the ground. That lazy. That's in here pretty good, so definitely a little bit of fighting. You got an 8mm here holding this on. Pop that out real quick. And I'm not sure if you have to, but I'm probably going to put that back in. I don't know. We'll see. It's hot as hell, though. I did not particularly allow it to cool down all the way. Oh, my play. You're a seven, all right? You're an eight. Makes a lot of sense, huh? All right, now we're all loosened up. Now we that bad boy free. I wanna pop this little thing out of here and kind of lean you into it. Oh, there we go. That cord is hooked onto that plastic of this little button situation. So I'm going to reach in there and do it with the flathead and pop her out. This is our map sensor. I'll get that off when I get this out of the car. Alright. Now we're all pretty much loose. I'm going to have to do this too. Alright. Pops right out. I didn't really have that seated back in there super well. This guy right here, you have to keep that. Got to twist it off. Wiggle it out. Twist, push, left, twist, and left. Hey, there it is. All right, cool. We got that. It's going on the toolbox. And this, going on the ground. All right. And I am going to take this off because it is no longer needed. So here's a little flathead clip right here. I'm going to go in, pull that back, get a hold of her. Yank her out. Oh, come on, let go. Do it. There we go, that's out. And she's out, rock and roll. And then you know what? Throw that on the ground. Alright. Okay. Oh, well, that's what happened. That little bushy thing popped off. So now I'm about to pause and go on an adventure for that little purple rubber grommet I dropped. I need that. So I abandoned the search for the purple guy. It's down there deep somewhere. I don't know where it went. I don't want to dig anymore. It's still really hot. So we'll leave that be for now. All right. So we got that loose. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this piece back, stick it where she belongs, just in case. And then I got this sitting right here and we want to remember about that. That's poor guy that lost his rubber grommet. I'll buy a new one, it'll be all right. All right, so move back over here. I want to loosen up this bolt too. Once again, it is a eight millimeter. Oh, it's tight. I might have to actually have a wrench wrench for that. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be a wrench wrench. Okay. All right, it's seven millimeter. Oh, yeah, I give it a flat. All right. Da -da. I 
Back here, there's a hose situation. That's what that gray hose and adapter is for. You want to put your hand back there and kind of look to make sure it's not on this piece. All right, cool. It's not on this piece. That's good. That gets to go on the ground. Ah, that's right here. What is that, a sensor? I don't even know what that is, man. It's crazy. I'm gonna need a flashlight. Let me look. What that is it? All right, cool. So that's the hose thing I was talking about, right here. All right. Just kind of inspecting what's going on. It looks like it just twists off. Pinches off some situation. Those might pinch. I hate leaning all over the car. It's definitely not a twist. I don't want to go yanking on that booger too hard. Pinch and push. Push and pinch. Ah, pinch. Yes, sir, it's pinch. That's what I thought. All right, cool. So, that's off. Now I need the socket to knock that out. And I don't know if I need to take that off or not. We'll figure that out when we get there. All right. And I am putting this bolt back in here. I'm not positive. I could live without it, but no, nah, I'm not putting it. I take that back. It doesn't butt, and I don't want to force it. It's just a mounting point. We will save that bolt. Probably with this bolt too. Really hot. I'm not sure what's going on with this. I know that's a motor mount. Or not motor. There you go. This locks the cover on top of it. So that definitely gets to go home. Alright. Why don't you hang out there? You know, loosey goosey. From this point, I do believe it's time to take this guy off. And this is where I'm, I was somewhat confused on what's going on and what I got to do. I get the windshield wiper portion of it, super easy. You got to get the other one too. All right, those guys are off. Yes, sit right there. All right. Because the intake comes up through here somewhere. I think here. I don't even know. That pops right off. Alright. I keep being here you don't have to have this underside. This could just be all you put back. That's probably what's gonna happen. I just don't know how that's all attached. So let me uh I'm gonna dig my toolbox see what I have. So these guys are little star bits. Hopefully I have one that fits. We're gonna have to figure out how to make it fit. That fits pretty good. All right, cool. Check out. Put you down. Got the handy dandy multi adapty situation. Back that out. There for now. I'm curious if there's any more. There's a couple different little clip style things. 
They look like little pull-up tabs, not like screws. It's a screw for fiddle with that. stuff just yank off. All right, cool. I'm gonna put these over here so they are in a safe place. All right. These actually go on for a minute. They're flathead and I'm gonna pop these little cap situations. You kind of put it in a little crack it provides twist, stick it under it, twist a few times, kind of mix the space, pop it on out. If you got tough enough fingernails, you can do it with them, but I do not, I'm not. Hey, look at that. That pulls right off here. Ah, I made that so easier. That goes on the ground. A tab. All right. Pop you up. That, making it happen. Almost looks like I know what I'm doing. That's out. Alright, cool. Putting these in a safe space. Let's see what we're working from here. Just holding on. Alright. I believe the windshield wipers is really our next step here. Yeah, it's free everywhere. See, this is where it gets tricky. Right here, you need a Sharpie. I got two Sharpies. You want to mark these things so you know how it came off and what, how it needs to go back on. Come and guess five eighths. Let's see what we got. Too loose, I don't want to break it. All right, come over to this guy. Loosen her up. Twist on out of it. Windshield wiper. Okay. This is tricky, right? So the video I saw there was a star pattern. We'll get you closer. Alright. Move y'all in. The video I saw there's a star pattern on this that you can mark really easy. This has no star pattern, so we're gonna have to get creative. Uh, wish me luck. You gotta do it to both of them. Get you back in the corner. All right, let's see what I got. Let's start with this. We got movement. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Hope we get those on there right. And she's on. Alright, alright. Look at that, making stuff happen. There goes the other one. Cool. Get my wrench back. Uh, and we'll see how easy it comes up. Okay. So this doesn't pop off. You're gonna have to kind of finagle it. All right. She's out. I think this is what you cut. I don't even know yet. We'll see. I'm not worried about cutting until we actually get to cutting. Alright. 
So this is where I was confused. The other cat had this out of his car already. He said you don't have to have it in there. Which, I mean, I guess not. So, all right. All right, cool. Let's see what's going on. So it looks like eight millimeter bolt right here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to kick you. And right here. All right, can you see it? Those guys. So I'm gonna pop those off. I'm probably wrong about the eight millimeter. Yeah, pretty sure I'm wrong on the eight millimeter. Yo. It's a 10, aren't you? Yeah, it's a 10. Hey, got my 10 millimeter and pop that bad boy up right there. None of this stuff's on really tight. I, I haven't had to put any real force into pulling it out. So that's kind of not that good. That's a long bolt. I'll pop you out and freeze right up. You gonna look like there's hide back there. Win winter chicken dinner. Come get this one. Twisty, 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 right. So this is the guy he said he don't have to have on there. It's optional. So this is the thing you gotta cut. I know that. So I will put this on and decide from there. All right. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. And I wanna show y'all something. Burn the hair, it's hot. So I didn't quite understand what they meant by cow induction. I wasn't sure where Bill was breathing from. I kind of assumed it went in the cab, kind of. I had no idea. First time ever doing this, so call me ignorant, it's okay. But I see what they're talking about now, and I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is where it goes into. So it's gonna come from down there, and it comes and buckles around here, and it tucks inside of there. So that's pretty cool. I so I kind of showed you where it's supposed to slide into. I've got everything out of the way except for the windshield wiper, but I'm going to try to do it without removing that thing from the car at all. I think I think I got the room. I could be wrong. I might have to go undo it anyways, but if I don't have to move it, I really am not. Let's tell me right now. I have to remove it. I bet you it's an 8 millimeter. Yeah, it's an 8 millimeter. Alright. I'm getting all sharpie on this bad boy too, so I can kind of hopefully put it right back where it belongs. This thing's in the way. I'm not sure. That's kind of like housing guy. Okay. We got some hoses plugged in there. We're gonna pull that off. We got a wire that goes up to your hood right there. And that's all the wire except for it looks like. That's a clip. And this tucks. Alright. So what's holding me down here? That clip's holding me right there. Alright. Oh, man, that was super easy. I can even clean that now. Cool. Throw it on the ground. I'm kind of marking the washer, the plastic boy that's in there, put everything just to make sure I put it back right. I hope. We'll see. Alright. I say 8 millimeter. Give me 8 millimeter. Yeah. That came right out. That was super easy. Super easy, all right. That wasn't holding on with nothing. All right, come right 
hell? Yeah. You would think there'd be more torque on those screws. There ain't really like much going on at all. Okay, so on the back there's a little pluggy button thing. Kind of like the engine cover situation. It feels like I can just yank it out of the back. Turn it back there and check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just pull on it. And we got electronics that has to come out. Your controller, the clip, a freaking weird angle. And we ain't too hard. Right. way easier. Now I got room to get her in there. And I can see what's going on. Cool. Alright. I do have to say this is the craziest install I have ever done for an intake. Hands down. All right, I'm jumping back into my 8mm reacher because I see the screw to the turbo, I think. Not very much so. Leave it to be 8mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Bet it's still hot in here, too. Oh, hell yeah, it's still hot in here. Oh, yeah, let's do this a little different. Hell no, it's a damn seven. That's why we got all fatty flatty. And not the left hand, but I am not ambidextrous. So I'm gonna get burnt. Feel it. Oh yeah, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh yeah, that's hot. Oh yeah. Makes you feel alive, man. Alright. I'm trying to loosen it a lot too because I don't want to pull on what's down there. I don't want to yank on the turbo too hard trying to pop this sucker out. I think that's enough. All right. Ooh, and I gotta do that again. So I'm gonna relook. That's free. Those bolts are free. Oh, this sucker's wiggling around all kinds of easy. Oh, right off the top. Beautiful. And this, it's out on the ground. That's the blood. Alright, so this is really cool. This is the deepest I've been in this car. I'm definitely thrilled about it. And that's my turbo. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it is. Well, that's a turbo. Something down there is a turbo. That's the pipe that goes on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the map sensor inside the pipe. So that's nice here to save. I very much so don't wanna buy a new one of these, so I'm gonna be very, very gentle. Kinda of looking at how it all shaped like and looks like, and once you get there, if you're doing this, you'll kinda of be able to look at it and go, oh, that makes sense, or at least hopefully you can. I'm gonna slide that in, lined up. That one there's super easy, rock and roll. All right, so that's in there. Now I'm gonna start kind of figuring out how this is gonna go. So I know that touch around there. Uh, intake's there, we're coming in there. And you mount right there, all right. 
boy. Fishing. All right. So it looks like the easiest route. Easiest route. I've got a lot more room back here to work now, so I'm not gonna put the bolts on that side like a cam factory, cause that was just kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm not doing that. And I think, honestly, I could get away with putting this guy on here first and sticking it down on it. Cause it looks like I'm gonna have to make one smooth flow with this whole situation. Instead of doing a piece at a time, I don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna work. So, I bet you, that's a 10 millimeter. Ha! All right, all right, cool. And I'm not gonna lock these down crazy tight either. All I'm gonna do is snug them enough to where they're not moving around on me all, whole bunch. And I place the pipe about halfway down where it fattens up. So let's tighten them up a smidge. If it's going in like that, we want these turned more like this. Toward the back of the car. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what's up. Those are definitely cool. Those are probably the nicest ones I've seen. Alright. Down on there. Also, it was recommended to have a filter bag due to moisture being where it's at. So, I don't know. I have no idea. Hopefully, there's not moisture up there, but they recommended it. If I didn't buy the wrong size. <laughs> she might not. Ah, she needs a filter. You know, I'll be damned. I think that just fits. Ha ha ha, right. I'm excited. I mean, honestly, it probably should be bigger. I should probably be able to get it higher up. It, it might not do a damn bit of good, but it's on there, right? <laughs> All right, and back to the car. So I'm gonna take this, and I really want this guy to face somewhere smart too. Get on there, and I bet you're not the size I'm working with. Not at all. <coughs> You're an eight. Oh, that came right off. Okay. So I really didn't understand originally how much space you actually got, and I thought I was putting. That was gonna be cool. To put that back in there. World of difference. That ain't happening. Where'd my eight millimeter go? Ta-da! 
tighten, 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 tighten. All right. All right, she's in. Well, one more for good luck. All right, cool. All right, so this gets silly. Now I've got to tuck this guy in there and mount that at the same time. <laughs> I'll be damned if I didn't do that basically the first try. Come on. Right there and in there. Got a good seat. Got a good seat. Alright. So that was easier than I thought. Next, a bolt here. So the little bolt they sent you with the filters, I'm assuming the bolt that belongs there. Now the original video is like, oh, you can put one bolt on top, or one washer on top, one on bottom, two on top, da 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 da. So I, I really don't know which one I want to put on, but I do know I want it to be picked up a little bit. I don't want it to suck up water. So I'm definitely gonna try to do two on bottom if I can snaggle it. I can snaggle it. I personally think the higher the better. Now I'm gonna try to put about a hair right there. Like everything else I've found so far on this guy, 10 millimeters. All right, that bad boy is secure. Get a roll of thumb, this we're doing, this we're doing a couple more times. So I'm gonna have to do one more cycle of twisting just to make sure that ain't gonna go anywhere on me. I've never used this style of connector. It's new to me. So I'm gonna be cautious. You know, I think I think she's in there. I don't think that's going anywhere. Well, I'm happy with it. Oh, look at that. Like a little 2J racing. Little emblems on them. That's pretty neat. So the gist I get, let me look at that piece. All right, so our stock guy has a big lip. This thing has an identical big lip and a little lip. You want the little lip in the tube. And then this goes in, one of them goes to the actual new intake pipe. I'm not too sure how this all is going to situate and make it happen. Right. 
All right, I think that's enough for me to work with. I'm gonna come and press the other side on. I hope that works. Easier than this other one. I don't know if I can zoom for you. Hell no, I can't. I'm going in there and I'm hooking it up right here and take it to this guy here. Once you're in it, you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. Shit. There we go. I'm gonna go good enough. Well, I was whooping my ass. All right. So this is the guy that lost the rubber grommet. Well, let's get you down here. Little part of me got sweats in the eye. which I'm not overly concerned about at this point in time. I'm gonna tuck it up, push my extender in, clicky clickety, because this guy is basically living, say he's living a relatively safe life without getting wet. I wouldn't worry too much. Pipe you up this way. I'm gonna give it two wraps and connect. And she's got her rubber drum. Yay! Connected. All right, so that wasn't too bad. <laughs> we are gonna start the car and see what happens. Get all the tools off of it. Quick sanity check. Make sure there ain't nothing laying around. We don't want head bumped or fiddled with. Clear, open, clear, open, nothing in the way, everything where I left it, rock and roll. Alright, so, first drive, I'm in the neighborhood, I don't want to go super fast to that, I'm kind of trying it out. It definitely makes turbo noise like crazy. Definitely interested in the launch. 